Hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Matchbox Marks Diecast Restorations. This project, I'm taking on a few corgis. Uh, the first one is the Henkel. And I think I saw Tizoc do this in Opa, this model. And I'm like, man, I got to have one of those. So I bought two of them. It actually came in a lot. So here we go, the Corgi Henkel. Uh, such a cool car, man. That'd be cool to buzz around town in. So these, I'm going to do a restoration. I got a pink one. And I have got a red one. So, uh, these will be pretty cool to do. I'm anxious to tear them apart. And the other core game I'm going to do is, I've been wanting to do this one for a long time. Uh... The old monkey's mobile. Uh, this is a really popular casting on eBay, and they're not cheap. I don't know what I got this one for. I think it may have been about ten bucks or something. But anyway, it's got all the four guys in there, and and this is actually a GTO. Did a little bit of research, and and it's a it's a really cool car. So I do have the decals that go in the side. So this one will be really really fun. So three corgis this build. So, stay tuned. And, oh, I gotta, forgot we have three new Star Wars guests. They are taking a break from the cantina, I guess. And, uh, so, alright, here we go. Alright, so I drilled out the post on the Hankel. Pretty easy, just one post. And it looks like everything just comes apart. So pretty easy. The interior is actually in like new condition. Wow. So put that over there. This is in really nice shape. No cracks. And here's the body. So I'll be stripping that. And this, I'm not going to do much but just clean up. And it looks like the wheels will just come out. I might have to take off that the holder in there. And let's see here. Of course, here's the other hinkle. Same thing. There we go. Everything comes off. Very plain interior. Good old corgi. And then the monkey mobile. I was actually, it's a husky. There we go. All right, so this one was actually the same thing. Two posts. I drilled them out. And let's see what we got going on here. So here's the uh, engine. I'll chrome that up really good. And this, I don't know if I'm going to, I'll probably paint this red too. Take out the tire, so I'll strip that. And let me see how these guys come out. They should just pop right out. Oh, there we go. There's the monkeys. Just monkeying around. And here's the, the windshield. It looks like it's got a little bit of a crack on it, but that's all right. All right, so there we have it. There's all the parts. Looking forward to this. So I'm going to put those in the stripper and those in soapy water and get this project going. All right, so here's the uh, monkey mobile and the hankles stripped up or stripped off of the paint. Uh, this one here was a little stubborn, the red one, so I'm going to have to get the wire brush to that. But the rest of these, they came out pretty good. So, all right, let me uh, shine these up and get them ready for primer. All right, here are all the parts to the monkey mobile and the hankles. And looks like the monkeys are getting a bath. There they are. They still look pretty happy, even though they're drowning in a bunch of water sunscreen or windscreen and 
chassis, tires, interiors, so everything's in there. And let these soak for a little while and they should come out looking brand new. Well, here's the uh, Hankles and the Monkey Mobile straight from the priming booth. So, actually came out pretty well. Got some good detail in there. I really like this roof, this rough uh, pattern. And there's the Hankles. All right, put a coat of paint on these and. Shine them up. All right, here's all the uh, Hankles and Monkey Mobile ready for assembly. There we go. Got everything polished up, painted, cleaned. And the monkeys are happy. Let's see here. I'm thinking it's probably been a long time since they've had a bath. So couple guys playing a the guitar there we go so all right let me put these babies together and do the final reveal all right so I wanted to tape this um, with the hankles in order to take the wheels off I had to cut the axles because they're actually pinched in there so what I did you can see I took a cotter pin and just laid it in the groove right there where uh, the original uh, wheel retainer went. I did it on both of them. So I'm gonna let it dry overnight and then put them together in the morning. Let's see if I can get a good close up. There we go. I caught her pin right there between the axles. Where are we at? There we are. Well, I got to slide that one up a little bit. It came up. All right. Let these dry and then put them together. All right. It is time for the reveal of the Hankel and Monkey Mobile. Or Hankels, more than one. Uh, these are really, really fun to restore. Came out pretty good. Uh, I went on Google Images to see exactly what was chromed out and everything. And uh, so there we have it. This one uh, was the original pink. And I spray painted the bottom a light gray. Fastened it with a button screw. And here's the red one. Same thing. This one, obviously, I didn't do the tail lights because it's already red. That would have been too hard, but anyway. So there we have it. And while it's spinning around, it is uh, January 1st, New Year's Day. So I want to wanna, wanna wish everybody a happy new year this year and a healthy uh, 2020 for all of you. And then this is my favorite one, man. This came out really good. So here's the Monkey Mobile. Uh, I really like the uh, textured roof. That's pretty cool. And didn't really do anything with the rims. I just wanted to keep that kind of natural. I didn't want to mess them up. I did chrome out the front end. I did give the monkeys a bath. They're pretty dirty. Now, on some images, the decal's not on there, but I kind of like it with the with the decals. I actually bought two sets in case I mess this one up. So, this little model goes for a lot of money. Um, so, but I don't remember what I paid for it. Maybe 10 or 15 bucks. But anyway, I'll put this on the shelf. So, there we have it. The Hankles and the Monkey Mobile. I want to thank you for watching, and I want to wish everybody Happy New Year again, and uh, thanks for watching. If you uh, like these, leave a comment, positive or negative, 
Just kind of be respectful, though, if you leave a negative comment. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't. And thanks for watching. Until the next build.